Hello everyone and welcome to the third tutorial in this tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll be creating a featured server list. So what is a featured server list? Featured server list is a list of servers that are always displayed on the top of a user's server list. Users cannot delete or move featured servers and it is often a great way to advertise the main server or servers that your client works with. So first of all, we're going to create a new package. I'm going to call it client name. Now you can call this whatever your client's name is, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be referring to my client name as client name. This package is going to hold all of the necessary classes in future tutorials for our client, um, but we're going to put one class in it now that we're going to call server data featured. Now this class is going to be able to tell the difference between normal server data and server data featured by using Java's instance of. So we're going to extend server data, import that, I'm going to say add a constructor. So this is going to be the server name, server IP, and we're going to get rid of this boolean value. So I'm going to type server name, server IP, and then we're going to type false for the boolean. The boolean is basically just to tell Minecraft whether it's a LAN server or not, which in this case ours isn't, so we're going to put false there. The next thing I'm going to do is to add the resource location for the star icon. What is the star icon, you might ask? The star icon is going to display a star next to all the featured servers so users know that that is a featured server. So I'm going to say public static final resource location. Then I'm going to call it star icon equals new resource location client name slash star dot png. So now I actually need to put this in the right location. So in the link in the video description, I've already put up a star icon. Uh, you can feel free to use this any of your clients, or you can just download one off the internet. Um, so I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go into client tutorial. I'm going to go to source Minecraft assets Minecraft. Make a new folder called client name. And in there, we're, oops, and in there we're going to paste star.png. Now we go back to Eclipse. We should see, we now have a star. So next up what we're going to do is we're going to modify serverless.java. So we're going to go to net, minecraft, client, multiplayer, serverless.java. So here is where your serverless gets loaded from servers.dat. So what we're going to do is right after the array of all your servers gets cleared, we're going to make a new function called load featured servers. We're just going to create that function. And in here, uh, we're going to add our featured server. So this is where you add every featured server you want displayed. So we're going to say this dot add server data new server data feature. Name it the server name is awesome featured server and for the IP I don't actually have a server that I want to feature at the moment so let's just use 2b2t.org so now we should get a server appearing in our server list but the problem is Minecraft's like oh you've added a new server so let's save it to the server.dat file we don't want that because then all our featured servers will get duplicated every time you go to that menu so what we want to do is where it has a for loop going over every single server. We're going to say if server data instance of server data featured. So we want to say if we're going to negate this. So if it if the server is not an instance of server data featured, then we're going to add it to the array. So that should fix the saving issue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the serverless entry normal to render the star image. So if we go to net minecraft client GUI server entry normal, 
we can find where Minecraft is drawing all of the server entries. So let's just put it right here, um, right below these flags for the server version. So I'm going to say boolean is featured server. I'm going to say that equals the server data, so it's field this one, the one that's of type server data, instance of server data featured. And what I'm going to do is just to make it look a little bit nicer and easier to read, I'm just going to put that in parentheses. It's not needed, but I think it looks a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to say is if is featured server, then we want to draw an image of the star. So we're going to pass in the x and y coordinates, pass false, and then server data featured dot star icon. I'll explain what this function is in a minute because we're just about to create it. So we're going to say create method. Now it's going to create a method down here. Uh, and I'm just going to change a couple of these. So we're going to change this to just be called texture. And we're going to change this to be called lower. Uh, and what we're going to do is this function, where it's actually going to be multi-purpose in future tutorials. Um, but for now, you can ignore this lower variable. And so we're going to say this dot mc dot get texture manager dot bind texture of the texture. So we're going to see me the next texture we're going to draw. Then we want to say gui dot draw. We're going to say draw mod this one draw model with rect custom size texture. So we're going to pass in the x, but we're going to minus 16 from the coordinates because that's going to be the size of our image. We're going to put an inline if statement for the y to say if it's lower, we're going to minus 16, or sorry, we're going to add 16 to the y. Um, else, it's just going to be the y variable. Uh, then the u and the v, we're going to say 0.0f for both of them. Now we're going to say the width is going to be 16, height 16, texture width 16, texture height 16. Now you should see when we debug our client that when we go to the multiplayer menu, we should see that we have a featured server at the beginning of our server list that has a star next to it. Go into multiplayer and look at that. We have an awesome featured server with a star next to it. But there are still some problems with this as we can edit the IP to our awesome featured server, we can delete it if we want, and we can also move our featured server around just like any other server. Uh, the nice thing is if you delete the server though, you go back, it'll always appear at the top and it isn't being saved. So now what we need to fix is being able to edit and delete the server and move it around. So let's fix the editing first. So what we want to do is go to GUI multiplayer. So it's right here. We want to find the function that when you select a server. So let's just scroll down till we find the select server function. So now what we want to do is just say if the server entry, so that would be saved server list dot get server data of the index that was passed through this function instance of server data feature and if it is we want to set the edit and delete buttons to false so if we run this now we should see that we cannot edit or uh, delete our featured servers, but we should be able to edit and delete normal servers. So if we go to our awesome server, we can't edit or delete it, but now for these ones we can. Um, there's still the same problem exists though, where we can move the server around. So that's the next thing we have to fix. Um, so what we want to do now is in serverless entry normal, we want to um, add a thing where we say, okay, if it's a featured server, you don't want to draw the buttons. 
So right here is where we're drawing the buttons, so it's the up and down buttons right here. So what we want to do is say if this featured server, we want to not draw those. So that should stop the drawing, but the next problem is we it's still going to work. You can still click on where those buttons were and move it. You just won't actually see the image being rendered. And so what we want to find is the function where we are actually clicking um, the, the buttons. So right here, if we look at mouse pressed, we can see that these two functions Here's the, the big arrow connecting to the server. We select the server and then we connect to it. So these are the two arrow clicking things. And so what we want to say is if not this dot field, we want to get the GUI multiplayer. Then we want to get uh, the server list. Then we want to get server data off of the slot index that we passed into it. And then we want to say if that is instance of server data featured. And we want to put this in here. So now if it's not instance of server data featured, the buttons will still work fine. And if it is instance of server data featured, then the buttons aren't going to work. So let's run the client and see if that fix has worked for us. Right, so if we hover over those, those buttons are not there anymore. The problem is now that we have a server here that's below here and we can still move this server up and down and it will move our featured server for us even though the buttons here don't exist anymore. So what we need to do is make sure that this up button, if the server is below a featured server, we need to make sure this up button is invisible anymore and doesn't work. So what we now need to do is in server list .java, so if we go back up to client multiplayer, go into server list, we're going to add a new function which is going to get the number of featured servers that we have. So right below load feature servers, we're going to do public int get featured server count. So we're going to say int count equals zero for server data, server data, colon, oops, needs to be a parenthesis here, colon this dot servers. I'm going to go through all the servers and say if server data instance of server data feature we want to say count plus plus and then return count so this will get us the count of featured servers we have and so now in GUI multiplayer we now need to find where the up arrow button class is that will basically say are we at the top of the server list and if so we don't want to draw the button. And so we want to say, if you're at the top of the server list, adding to adding X amount of servers to it for how many featured servers we have, then display or not display the button. And so that's this obfuscated function right here. So instead of zero, which means we're at the top of the list, we're greater than the top of the list, we want to say we're greater than this dot saved server list dot get featured server count. And so, if we run this, hopefully that will fix the up arrow button appearing for servers below the featured server list. And there we go. So let me just add another server. Just add a random server. So now you can see all the buttons are working. So we have the up and down. We just have it down here. We just have it up here. And so there's no way now to move the featured server. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.